Welcome to Maths with Mr. S. In this video, I'm going to count backwards three zero to include negative numbers. So what have we got here first off? So from three, we need to count back five. And we've got this useful number line, which has positive numbers and it has negative numbers. So when we're doing this question, all we literally need to do is find where the number three is. Where's the number three on the number line? Well, there's the number three there. And we need to count back five. Now, when it says count back, that means we're going down the way. It's getting smaller. So it's like saying subtract five, but we're counting back five instead of adding five. So we identify the three, which we've done. Tick. Now we need to count back a five. So we literally just do five jumps down. And we're going to go through zero and we're going to go into the negatives. As you go down the way, the numbers are worth less. So if you have minus five, it's like you owe someone five pounds. That's not very good, but it's not as bad as going to minus 10. You owe someone 10 pounds now. So whenever you go into the minuses, as the numbers get bigger, they are worth less. And in the positives on this side, as the numbers get bigger, they're worth more. So we've identified three. We need to come back five. So we go from here and we count five jumps. One, two, three, four, five. And it takes me to my answer of negative two. So whenever I'm at three and I count back five, I don't end up at zero. I actually end up beyond zero and I end up at negative two. So let's look at a couple more examples of these. So from six, count back eight. Just the same principle. Counting back is we're going to take away eight from six. So let's find our six. So I'm starting at six. I'm going to count back eight. So let's just do eight jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, my answer is negative two. So I've gone beyond zero into the negatives and I've counted back eight from six, which takes me to negative two. Now from five, count back 10. So it's a good bit more, but it's exactly the same principle. So where's five? I find my five and I'm going to count back 10 jumps. And as you're jumping, make sure you jump to each of the lines, not in between the lines, to each of the lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten jumps. I've gone back ten from five, which takes me to negative five. So the number line is really useful for this. Now we're at nine. This time we're going to count back 15. So let's find the nine first. So we've got nine up at the top here and we're going to count back 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I've ended up at the number minus six. So whenever you're at a positive number, you can actually take away more than what the positive number is worth and end up in negative numbers. And using the number line is really useful. So let's look at a few more examples, some slightly trickier ones where we have a number line which goes from negative 20 up to 20 with our zero in the middle. So this time it says seven subtract 13. Hmm, so what's going on here? Well, this is exactly the same as what we did on the previous page. We were at three and we counted back five, which literally just means three minus five, which would equal negative two. From six, count back eight. Well, that just means six take away eight, which is negative two. So that's what we're going to do here. Seven is the positive number that we start with. And then we're going to go back 13, we're taking away 13 this time. So let's find seven on our number line. There's seven. And we're going to go back or take away 13. So we go back 13 spaces. I'm going to do my jumps at the bottom for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
two more, 12 and 13 would take me to minus six. So going back through zero from a positive number, we can actually go into the negatives. So seven minus 13 is minus six or negative six. Let's look at another one. This means nine, that's where we start. Take away or go back 20. We can do that. We just did it in the previous page. Start at nine. And we're going to go back or take away 20. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do it in sets of five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five more. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 takes me to minus 11. So 9 minus 20 is minus 11. Let's look at this one. So we're at 1 and we're taking away 15 or going back 15. Start at our 1, go back 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then another 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 takes me to minus 14. And then the final one, I'm at 11. Now I'm going to take away or go back 29. Well, where's my 11? Back 29. So this is going to be quite a big jump down, but we can do it. So let's go. So 29. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5 more, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Oh, takes us to minus 18. So if I'm at 11 and I subtract 29 or go back 29, I would get to minus 18 or negative 18. So using the number line, to go through negatives is really, really helpful and useful. Now let's look at it in relation to a word problem. So the temperature is 11 degrees Celsius, then falls by 15 degrees Celsius. What is the new temperature? Well, this literally just means if it falls, it's getting smaller, it's going down. This means 11 minus 15, or start at 11, and then go back 15. Just exactly the same as what we've been doing. And you want to get in the habit of just being able to think of it as this, 11 minus 15. Okay, what's 11? Falls by 15. What's the new temperature? Well, let's just use our number line. So we start at 11. That's going to fall or we're going to take away 15. So I just do 15 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 takes me to minus 4. So if the temperature is 11 degrees Celsius, then it falls by 15 degrees Celsius. What is the new temperature? Well, we find it. The new temperature will be minus 4 degrees Celsius. So just using that skill and using the number line becomes very easy to go through zero into your negatives. Do one more. At 9 a.m., the temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. At 9 p.m., the temperature falls by 21 degrees Celsius. What is the new temperature? Well, again, we're starting at 12. At 9 a.m., it's 12 degrees Celsius. It falls, which means it gets smaller. So we're taking away 21 degrees Celsius. And then what is this new temperature? So I'm starting at 12. It falls, or we take away 21, and then see where we're at. So 21, so 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And we've got our temperature is minus 9 degrees Celsius at 9 p.m. So I'll put that in here. We've got minus 9 degrees celsius thank you for watching and don't forget the free worksheet and answers in the description or go to www.mathwithmrs.com
www.kaltenbach.com.